Hello and welcome back techies. This is the seventh part of SAS numeric function. I'm your instructor Sambhav. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification on my latest video. In this video, we are going to discuss few more interesting functions such as largest and smallest. And then we will also discuss what is the difference between the largest function and the max function which we have studied earlier. Similarly, the difference between the smallest and the min function. After that, we will talk about the square root function and we will do a few practicals to understand, to understand these functions better. So, this is a list of functions which I have already told you earlier. And in today's session, we are going to talk about largest, smallest, and square root. So let's start with the largest and the smallest. Now, as the name suggests, largest, it returns the largest value. It not only returns the largest value, but it returns the nth largest value from the series. Now, let us understand what do we mean by the nth largest value from the series. So I hope you remember this is a data set we have used earlier. So let me execute it and show you the output. So this is the result we have got. So assume this is the data set we are going to use to understand largest and smallest function, right? So in this example, when I'm saying largest, you can, you can see that the largest value in the first observation, I hope you remember that I told you that function will always work row wise, that means first row that is first observation or it will work across this it will never work, uh, work column wise like variable one variable two this first column second column so function always work row wise now when i'm saying largest so you see that the largest value in the first observation is 60 that is the largest value which is the second largest value 50 is the second largest value third largest value is the 40 so that is why I have said that it returns the nth largest value, first largest value, second largest value, third largest value, and so on and so forth, right? Similarly, it returns the uh, nth smallest value. So let's say, for example, in the first observation, the smallest value is 10, and the second smallest value is 20, the third smallest value is 30. Similarly here, the first, so the, sorry, the smallest value is 12, and the second smallest value would be 72 and so on and so forth. So this is what largest and smallest function does. So the syntax is variable name which is going to store the result of the largest and then we'll have to specify n. n is nothing but the nth. Whether you want the first largest value, second largest value, third largest value and then you have to specify the range of values. Similarly for the smallest the definition, uh, sorry, the syntax is pretty same except that in spite of using largest, we are using smallest here and the first smallest, second smallest or the third smallest and the range of values. So let's do a practical example to understand this. So we are going to find the largest and the smallest of this. So let me give largest value large underscore one is equal to uh, largest, 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 and after that I have to specify the nth largest. Let's say for example the first largest I want. And then I have to specify the range of values. So you know how to specify the range of values. We have to use the keyword of v1 to v6. v6. Similarly, we can find the second largest value. So let me just copy this portion so we can save some time so large underscore 2 is equal to so all I have to do is I will change this so that I can find the second largest similarly I can find the third largest value so this will be 3 similarly we can also find the smallest so let me give a variable name as small underscore one is equal to smallest and first smallest of v1 to v6 pretty easy again i'll copy this portion so to save some time 
smallest 2 so I will type here smallest 2 so this time I'm going to find the second smallest value two. similar you can find the third smallest fourth smallest and so on and so forth so let's execute this code and see the result so <clears throat> as you can see among this the first largest value is 60 the second largest value is 50 which is given here and the third largest value is 40 right similarly the smallest value is 10 the second smallest value is 20 that is why I have said the nth smallest value or nth largest value so that is uh, about largest and smallest so you can see the result in the other observations also so here in the second observation the highest value is 55 the second highest or second largest value is 22 and the third largest value is 11 similarly smallest value is 11 and the second smallest value is 22 right now what is the difference between min max large and small that is what we have to discuss right you remember we have said that we have to understand the difference between largest and max smallest and minimum this is again an interview question sometimes it might be asked so it is really very important so min and max can only give you the maximum value from the series it cannot give you the second maximum because there's nothing called a second maximum or second minimum but largest can give you the nth largest let's say for example if I specify here max underscore 1 is equal to max of v1 hyphen v6 so it will only return one single the highest value it cannot give the second highest third highest max cannot do that similarly min can also return only the minimum value but not the second smallest or the third smallest and so on and so forth so that is the difference between the largest smallest minimum and maximum so if i execute this code you will see the result so it can only give you the maximum minimum it cannot give you the second maximum third maximum that is not possible with min max function whereas with largest and smallest it is possible to find the nth largest or the nth uh, smallest value right now the next function which we are going to discuss is the square root which is very simple so the square root function in SAS will return the square root value for the argument passed and this is a syntax variable just specify the square sqrt function that is square root and then the argument so this argument can be a variable or a numeric constant let's do a program so data let's say square root 1 and let's say I am not spec I'm just directly giving the functions itself so let's say result 1 is equal to uh, sqrt square root of 144 uh, result 2 is equal to sqrt square root of 169 and let's take one more value result 3 is equal to square root of 196 right run rock print data is equal to sqrt1 sorry sqrt1 run now can see so <clears throat> my result 1 will have the square root value of 144 which is 12 so result 2 will have the square root value of 169 which is 13 and it will have a square root value of 196 r3 which is 14 so let's execute the code and check the result yes so we have got it 12 13 and 14 so we have passed uh, 144 here for r1 uh, the argument for r2 was 169 and the argument for r3 was 16 sorry 196 that will be all for today guys thank you so much for your time and patience and please feel free to comment with your feedback and suggestions so that i can improve on my videos to give you a better learning experience you can also specify the list of topics in the comment section which you want to study. 
Thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Have a wonderful day ahead.